feel a gust of cold air. It does stuff. You kneel close. See a vision. You see a procession of elves in the distance, periodically fading, and they trudge over snowbanks. Yada 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 blah 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 blah. As they trek past you, one man, bundled in furs, turns his head. You headed for for noon frost and the frost hoon breach too. Before you can answer, he's lumbered ahead. You follow the caravan, and in a couple of minutes, you come to a wall of ice. It disappeared into the pale emptiness overhead and stretches as far as you can see in either direction. The elves stop in front of a mirror-smooth section that's framed like a temple door. It seems somehow thinner than the rest of the wall. You can't see what's on the other side, but it's but a debilitating cold emanates from within. The elves pull pickaxes and shovels from their seal skin packs and begin hacking at the smooth ice, their implements flying through the air in swift shining arcs. Though they throw their bodies into their labor, not one of them so much as scratches the polished ice, yet with each blow, something bellows in the distance. Hedera calls out to the elves, Hey, you might want to hold off on that. But that howling wind seems to swallow up his voice. Halogena head whip around to see where the bellowing is coming from forget about the elves we need to be ready to move she turns again to face you flexing her hands in cold air or fight the elves hacking away seemingly oblivious to the furious lowing lowing and to the tremors under your feet the snow has risen to your knees your legs feel frozen in the drifts try to get the elves attention you grab the nearest elf by her shoulder, shaking her and yelling over the howling winds. You point in the direction of the booming noise, but she only scowls. Leave us, traveler. We've got to get through. We can't stay on this side any longer. You're angering something big. You better stop. The elf strains to listen. As she rests her pick in the mounting snow, some of her fellows pause in their labors. A man with a w withered, frostbitten finger turns. He raises his maimed hands, and the others stop as well. They stand motionless for several seconds before you realize they've frozen entirely. You touch the, the elf nearest to you, and he crumbles into a mound of snow. A final gale blows past, scattering the remains of the elves in a chaotic fury. You notice a single spiderweb crack in the smooth barrier. It's the only thing that mars the perfect surface of the ice. Whatever is on the other side of the strange doorway, you feel it tugging at you. Only when you look back and see the parallel gashes trailing behind your legs in the snow do you realize how strong its pull is. My end comes to all things in time. Seal the frost-hewn breach and instruct the pilgrims in the patience of Remergond. Plug the hole with a handful of snow. You fill your hand with snow and shove it into the crack. It hardens instantly, and a hoary rime grows over the smooth surface of the frozen doorway, fusing it with the rest of the wall. When you take your hand away, a perfect crystal of ice remains in your palm. As, as you examine the crystal, the vision around you fades, but the unmelting shard of ice remains in your hand. Hey, we got a thingy. Okay. Find a noon frost in Twin Elms. So we are gonna go and travel those endless depths. Man, nothing but spam deleted. Oh. There we are, okay. We've gone there. We haven't gone to the Blood Sands. I kinda wanna wait on that. I, I feel like that's indicative of progress. We're gonna travel to Cadnua. I'm scared at the level 7 of the depths now. Well, we're about to find out. I'm about to find out for myself what the depths are like. You must gather your party before, before venturing forth. forth. Yeah, we know. All right, Cad Nua. One day, 19 hours. Hireling payday, total wages. Okay, let us party manage. Um, you will lose stuff. 
Because you are actually going away now. Yep. Sorry. Thanks for playing. You can keep that though. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, you know, she was kind of... She was kind of rangy, right? She used a lot of range spells. Uh, melee, 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 melee. Revival. Four and two. Well, five and two. Well, he's now... Well, so we have three range now. Okay, this might be good. As long as we... Um, oh, hey, he leveled. As long as we uh, manage some things properly. So first off, have some bling. You earned it. There you go. You get that. Um, sure. Here you go. Have some boots. Intellect plus two. Re resolve, really? Damn. Let's just put that on you for now. And your blue archivist. Okay, you. Actually give it to him. You'll get this back. And you will have this. There you go. Okay. Hey, Fractal! Fractal, you've missed so much! What time is it? Oh, it's five, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Hi! <sighs> so your lore is on point. Your athletics needs a little bit of help. And let's just bump up your survival. You are level... Seven, okay. Aura, um, that happens, you know. Reducing damage of enemies, reduces concentration, reduces endurance. That's kind of good. Oh, you're level 8! Yeah! Lore! Lore and lore! Um, these were not the ones that we had before. Alright, what's this one? Charming them? <gasps> Summon three worms! Uh, let's go for the charm. And beloved spirits, what? Improves the cantor's connected to soul for increasing ancient memory's healing capability. Eh. Offensive. Um, do we have that? Uh, the the gunman, or I think we already gave it to you, right? I think so. Yeah. So. You'll get You look so silly with that hat. Range recovery when moving. That seems good. Done. Okay. Following your lead. Um, class behavior, you're a summoner, use your pro-rest abilities and be aggressive. Thanks, okay. Of course. Oop. Okay. Just realized the dude with a giant gun is cosplaying a furry. <laughs> if them ogre summons, he'll wreck everything. There's ogre summons? What girl? Um oh okay, so we need to First off, save. And click this button. Let's do a manual resolve. <gasps> oh, God, my formations. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yay, we didn't lose. Okay. Oh, yeah, we get we get some help. Los Banditos, no chance.
I want to see what this does. Okay. Kana, 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 Kana. Nothing? Wow, okay. Experience, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta help too. I guess maybe you don't. We did it. We did it. Fractal, the uh, spam deleted has been real lately, by the way. By real, I mean like three in the past uh, sure. 20 minutes. Or, well, no, it was uh, one, two, three back to back. So, about, yeah, 20 minutes. I had three of them. Yeah. Okay. Um. Going here. And we're about to venture into the awesome depths. They're never ending. Barrel, too. Oh, General Goods Merchant. <gasps> yes. Hail, traveler. Greetings. What's up? Show me your stuff. Oh, my God. Six camping supplies. You are amazing. Great. Give me. All right. Give me, give me. Woo. Okay. Oh, we just... What? Camp? Ah. <gasps> ah. <gasps> We have to pick? Um. Uh, why can't I get them all? Just, just sleep in the center. Spam makes it with scrambled eggs is so good. I know. Oh, God. You know what? That's, that's what I'm doing. After this, I'm going to cook up some spam. I have a bunch. And, you know, should be used soon. <laughs> um, three rests. Jesus. What do, what, do, what do we need? Who give, give everyone stealth. Yeah, rest. Okay, your eyes open to a familiar scene. Durance, in, Durance sits with his staff laid across his lap, a malignant flame sprouting from one end. He is difficult to make out. His features soft, bleeding together. But the staff you see is clear. We, we've been through this before. Um, and to your surprise, there is a female figure behind him. You are about to call out a warning, then you realize it is the modern statue where you met Durance at the Fork. Yet, she seems almost alive for a moment. Her cast shadow seemed as if it was moving, cloaked. Then it is still, frozen with the knight at its back. Examine the staff. There's something odd about one of those symbols. A circle of twelve smaller circles. One of the small circles glows brightly. But the other eleven give off little light. They flicker and fade like dying embers. Between his hissing curses, Durance lowers his face close to the staff and blows on the fading circles with panicked rapidity, coaxing light from them, but they do not ignite. One by one, the light of the circles dies, and smoke rises from their ashes. Only one still burns. Durance hurls his staff at his feet, and it clatters to the ground. Its edges have become soft, difficult to find. Like its owner, the staff has become a blur. You close your eyes and reopen them. And Durance is there, picking up his staff from the ground. But the blur is gone, and you are awake. Find out what those meant. Eh? Boop. And what must you say now? Um, I had questions I wanted to ask you. Doubts and curiosity plague you. You're skidding your knuckles on the wrong door. I had another vision of you. One of the symbols on your staff, it was dying. You see many things that aren't there, Watcher. Perhaps the symbol was for your disappearing sanity, and we are to bid it farewell while you still have the wits to grieve for it. I saw a symbol with twelve circles. What does it represent? That symbol, the God Hammer. Then it was the God Hammer, God Hammer symbol I saw extinguished on your staff. 